everyone, Anna Hill and Fulgen Henry here to share with you the amazing news that Ecamm Live 3.9 overlay features. Yes, all the new ones in 3.9, so here we go. Let's do it. We now have screen share overlays. Let's go into demo mode and show you exactly what we mean. Right. So if you look over here, this is a screen share overlay, the overlay that's over to the right. And right now we are showing uh, building blocks YouTube channel, which is currently playing on another monitor. And if we click on the pencil here, you'll see the option to show what you want to show secondary display, primary display, current application. Right. You, you, you And it can be anything, you guys. It can be. Ecamm Live, a particular panel, like your overlays panel, your comments panel. It can be keynote presentation, and it could be any window you have playing in your browser, right? And also in keynote, or if you have an overlay that you bring in with green background, you can have green screen key. You could also bring in audio. Oh my God, this, you guys, this is, say it, Anna, say it, say it, say it. A game changer. Okay, as if that wasn't enough, overlays can now be cropped by dragging from the corners or edges while holding down the option key. Let's go there. Okay, so now this is a camera overlay and we just hold down the option key and I am going to make Fulgens solo. Look at this, you guys. This is absolutely amazing. We can, of course, do the same thing the other way. I think it looks better that way. Oh, you're so cute. There we go. We can do the same thing with screen share overlays. As you know, Fulgens just mentioned, the one to the right is a screen share overlay. So now, as you can see, let me maximize it a little bit. You see that all of the, the extra, the extra um, dead space, if we don't want to see that, we have an option for that. You like that? <laughs> hey. There's an option for that. <laughs> hey. So you just hold down the option key and you're going to remove what you don't like. It's look like, at this, it's, you guys. It's the new option drag. <laughs> oh, look at it. I love it. How cool is this, you guys? And you can do this with as many overlays as you want to camera overlay, screen share overlay. Hold down the option key and have fun with it. Even with pictures. Yes, even with pictures. Actually, yes, folders. Okay, so let's show you a picture. We brought in a cute picture of us and you can do the same thing that you that we did with the camera overlay just hold down the option key and crop away look at this you can move it you can even make him like now like really tiny put right him, over here you, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can put you right here <laughs> double folding so i'm not sure about that mm -hmm. but you guys can have fun with it look at you <laughs> i'm on the shelf Yes, you guys. So this is an amazing feature. All these features are amazing. So let's go to the next one. Who does not love to animate your text? In Ecamm Live 3.8, we were introduced to flying from the left, flying from the right. But now we have flying from the top and flying from the bottom. Oh my gosh, let's go into demo mode and show you guys right now. So you have our text here, right? And we are going to animate a few things. Let's do that right now. If we go to new overlay features in Ecamm Live 3.9, it's currently set to fly in from the left up here. Let's have that fly in from the bottom, right? And let's just do that to a few of these things here, right? So fly in from the bottom. Building blocks of on and fulgence, flying from the bottom. This white rectangle, flying from the bottom. All right? And let's see what it does, right? So let's do like a before and after, right? So this is before. And check out after. Look at that. <laughs> flying from the bottom. And... and 
Oh, go ahead. Uh, no. And if you look at the 64 degrees up here, it's currently set to fly in from the top. So just take a look at that up there. You just have it dropping it from the top, right? So that is the flying from the top animation. So awesome. Go ahead, Anna. And also you can, um, for just, let's just animate the text building blocks uh, with Anna and Fulgence and leave the box static. Gotcha. All right. So if we do this, let's change the box to fixed position, right? And while we're at it, we can take the gold box and leave it to fixed position as well, right? And then if we go back to our before, and now check out after. Right, so yes. you just have the text flying in. Yes, so that's, that looks really cool. So there are different ways you guys have fun with this. Fun. Because this so. is a game changer. Okay, round the corners. I'm going to read this to you guys because... Adds an option for rounded corners for camera overlays and screen share overlays. And it also adds a, uh, an option to round only certain corners of overlays. A feature that before was crazy to do, you have to imp import from Canva and most people, most streamers purchase this overlays. Now with Ecamm Live 3.9, you can just do it with a click of a button and let us show you that. Okay, so as you guys can see here, the edges are already round. So this is how we did it. You go in here very, very easily. You just click on the pencil for the camera overlay. For the camera overlay. Let me go here real quick. Camera overlay. And it will bring up this window. Now you can see the corner radius. So if you can, uh, if you take a look at the rounded edges right here, these is rounded as well. So if we just click here, Fulgence, you can do some noise for this. Oh, look yeah. at this, you guys. This is just square right here. The edges are sharp. So let me back it up a little bit and then we're just gonna make all the edges sharp. Now, if we just want to make these round like we did before, or if you want to just change it. That's awesome. Amazing. We can do this on the camera overlays. We can do this in screen share overlays. And you can actually cover that on text. Right. And so if we zoom out a little bit. And we can, as Anna mentioned, we can cover that in the text as well. So if we double click our text background, you see the options here. You have margin, you have border, and you have corners, right? So if we bring the corners up a notch, the <laughs> option appears to change your edges, just like the screen share overlay and just like your camera overlay, and as well as adding borders to your text. So if we bring that up a little bit, now look at that, right? You're starting to see a border appear and you just click on the set stroke color option and you can instantly change your color here so easy so simple so user friendly yes and the corners and let's go back to the the corners for the text overlays because that is super fun so if we go back in it like we were we can also do the edges of the right yes see Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then if we add the border, it's the same way. So now the, the, the borders can actually also go over it and it will take that shape. Exactly. Whereas before it wasn't like that. Look at this. Right. That looks cool. So you can cre uh, instantly create any type of overlay shape you want. Yes. Yep. This is amazing. Amazing. You guys play with it. I know we keep saying play with it, but we have so much fun with this. Check out all of the signs that we have. And now to the next feature we can now move multiple overlays at once this is a dream come true let us show you how okay so if you have watched our tutorials on building blocks you know that you need to add your overlays your layers into folders okay once your layers are inside of folders now the new thing is 
layers inside of folders. Now you can see this link in here. This, you need to click it, right? This is on not clicked and this is clicked. Activate it. All of the layers inside of it have to be unlocked so that you are able to move them. Once you move them where you want them to be, then you lock those layers again. So let us show you this amazingness. This is what you can do in 3.9. You guys, yes, you can move all of this all wherever you want. This is amazing, all right? So just make sure that your layers are unlocked and then lock them afterwards so that they can move. This is a truly a game changer. And last, but certainly not least, because there are so many more amazing features in Ecamm Live 3.9. The text overlay window is no longer a modal sheet. Now I hear the crickets going off, right? Because you wanna like, what the heck is Fulgence talking about? Let's go into demo mode and you'll know exactly what I mean. You're gonna have the aha moment. So normally when we press the T or activate a new text overlay panel, right? The text overlay is usually stuck right in front of our faces and you cannot move that box around. Now, since it's no longer a modal sheet, that means that you can move the text overlay panel away and wherever you want to move the text overlay panel to. In addition to that, you can resize it, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, but most importantly, you can move it out the way. Finally, you can finally move the text overlay panel out the way. This is amazing, you guys can now you know, either hire somebody, for example, if I didn't want Fulgence to be there, you can put it there, right? right, right. Or you can put it on the <laughs> other side if I just wanted to do, you can have, this is simply amazing. And you can actually move the color picker as well. And you can move them to wherever you want to that makes sense for you. So now you can really have your design interface super flexible. Oh yeah. Because yes, okay. And just like Fulgence said, there are way, way more features, and we're going to be covering the overlay features specifically in uh, Building Blacks on Mondays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time following ENN on Ecamm Live YouTube channel. So if you are not already on our YouTube channel, head on over to youtube.com slash Anna and Fulgence. Mm -hmm.